Imagine having a magic money tree in your backyard. Sounds exciting, right? But what if you didn't know how to take care of it? That's where personal finance comes in. Picture personal finance as the gardener that nurtures this magical tree, guiding you on when and how to water it, trim it, and harvest the fruits. Understanding personal finance is like unlocking a secret code. It helps us manage our money efficiently, ensuring we spend wisely, save diligently, and invest thoughtfully. It's not just about making money, it's about making smart decisions with the money we have. The ultimate goal of personal finance? To help us achieve our financial dreams and secure a stable future. Whether it's buying a dream house, starting a business, or planning for a comfortable retirement, personal finance is the key. So hold on tight as we embark on this journey to unlock the secrets of your own magic money tree. Think of your money as water in a river. Some of it flows in and some of it flows out. In the world of personal finance, we refer to the money that flows into our lives as income. This could be the paycheck from your job, returns from your investments, or even the cash you made from selling that old guitar on an online marketplace. It's the water that fills your river. On the other side, we have expenses. This is the money that flows out of your life, the water leaving your river. It's the rent or mortgage you pay, the groceries you buy, the gas for your car, your internet bill, and that delicious double shot caramel latte you treat yourself to every Friday. Now here's a simple truth. To achieve financial stability, the water flowing into your river needs to at least match the water flowing out of it. If more water is leaving than coming in, you'll find your river drying up. In other words, you'll run out of money. But here's the good news. You have control over both the inflow and outflow of your money river. You can increase your inflow by negotiating a raise, starting a side hustle, or making smart investments. On the flip side, you can decrease your outflow by cutting down on non-essential expenses, shopping smarter, and saving energy at home. Balancing your inflow and outflow doesn't mean you have to live a life of deprivation. It's all about making conscious decisions. Decide what's worth spending on and what's not. Decide what you can do to bring in more money. And most importantly, decide to plan and track your money so you can see exactly where it's flowing. So take a good look at your river. Is more water flowing in than out? Is it balanced or is it drying up? Once you understand this, you can start making adjustments to ensure you're heading towards financial stability, not away from it. Remember, a river stays healthy when the water flowing in matches the water flowing out. The same goes for your money. Now imagine if you could store some of that river water for a dry day. That's what we call saving. Imagine you're a squirrel. You know winter's coming, so you gather and stash away as many nuts as possible. Without this stash, you'd be in a tough spot when food becomes scarce. This is exactly what saving money is all about. Think of saving as your personal stash of nuts, accumulating and kept safe for times when you might need it. Maybe it's an unexpected car repair, a sudden medical emergency, or a job loss. These are the financial winters of life. Having a savings account can be your safety net, catching you when life surprises threaten to drop you into financial hardship. But saving isn't just about preparing for emergencies, it's also about planning for the future. Want to buy a house, go on a dream vacation, or retire comfortably? All these goals require one common ingredient, saved money. And here's the magical part about saving, it doesn't just sit there, it grows. It's like planting a seed and watching a tree grow. This is what we call interest. When you save your money in a savings account, the bank pays you interest. This interest compounds over time, meaning your money is not just sitting, it's growing, it's working for you. Just like squirrels store nuts for winter, saving money ensures you're prepared for whatever financial weather comes your way. Ever wished your money could multiply like rabbits? Well, it can, with the right strategies. Let's talk about investing, a powerful tool that can help you grow your wealth. Investing might sound like a game for the rich or a risky gamble, but it's actually quite accessible and a smart way to build financial security. Imagine you have a seed. If you hold on to that seed, it'll always just be a seed. But if you plant that seed, water it, and give it sunlight, over time it can grow into a tree. That tree can then produce more seeds, which can grow into more trees. This is how investing works. You invest your money in something. It could be a business, property, or stocks. This is like planting your seed. Over time, the value of what you've invested in can grow. This growth is like the tree sprouting up from your seed. And just like how a tree can produce more seeds, your investments can produce more money. Now, it's important to remember that all investments come with some level of risk. Just like how a tree might not grow if it doesn't get enough sunlight or water, your investments might not grow if the market conditions aren't right. 
but with careful planning, research, and a bit of patience, you can minimize these risks and maximize your potential returns. So, while we can't literally make money rabbits, with smart investing, we can get pretty close. So there you have it, the basics of personal finance in a nutshell. We've journeyed through the significance of understanding your personal finance, not as a chore, but as a way to unlock your financial freedom. We've seen how balancing income and expenses isn't about depriving yourself, but about making smart choices. You've learned that every dollar earned and spent is a piece of your financial puzzle. Then, we dived into the importance of saving. We unveiled the secret that saving isn't about stashing away every cent, but about setting aside a portion for the rainy days and a portion for the sunny days. Lastly, we uncovered the magic of making your money work for you through investing. We've seen that investments are not just for the Wall Street wizards, but for everyone who dreams of a comfortable future. Remember, taking care of your magic money tree might seem tough at first, but with these tips, you're well on your way to a flourishing financial future. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more content.